Spirit, and today we'll be making slime with no glue and no activator. I already made a part one to no glue slime recipes, and today we'll be trying out even more. I'm super duper excited, so let's get on to the video. Here's our first recipe. So first you added in some hand soap and then a couple pumps of hand sanitizer. They didn't list the measurements, so we're gonna have to eyeball the amount we use. And she just kept stirring it until it became this liquidy consistency. And now she puts it in the fridge for three hours? Whoa, the results seem like it's worth it though. And she made that with only two household ingredients. Here's my bowl and spoon and let's put that recipe to the test. The first thing we're gonna add is our soap. They didn't put the exact measurements, so I'm just gonna put in about two tablespoons. And now for our hand sanitizer. This one is from Bath and Body Works and oh my gosh, it smells so good. They put about three pumps, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And if you know me, I do not make boring slimes. Here's my pink food coloring to match our theme, of course. Ew. Now let's mixy mixy our potion. Oh my gosh, it's becoming so vibrant. Guys, it's getting like really liquidy. <laughs> Why are there chunks in there? I caught one of the chunks. This is so weird. But there could be chunks of slime forming. So I already have high hopes. Let's go put it into the freezer. Here we are. I really hope I didn't waste all that sanitizer for nothing. Let's place it. Ah! I almost spilled my slime. Is that a cracked egg? Wait a minute. No, this is definitely fake. It looks so real. I literally got pranked. Anyways, let's leave it in here for three hours. Stay safe, potion. While we're waiting for our hand sanitizer slime to freeze, let's move on to our second recipe. But make sure to stay until the end of the video for the results. Here's the recipe we will be trying. It's supposed to make a really pretty clear slime. Okay, so she starts off by pouring a peel-off face mask into the bowl. And now she's adding in a Brux activator, but Tide will work just the same. Whoa, the results are gorgeous. This recipe seems pretty legit, but we gotta test out if it's really fact or cap. That recipe looked pretty promising. Here are my peel-off face masks, and I didn't get one, but two. And guys, you need to make sure on the back of the face mask, it says polyvinyl alcohol or PVA, and that is what will make the slime activate. Peel-off face masks can be hard to find sometimes, but I got mine at the dollar store. I'm gonna try pouring in like the entire bottle. Ooh, it looks like clear glue. Did it just chart? And like I said before, we need to yuckify yeah. this thing by adding some food coloring. <laughs> Don't ask me why I like spanking the caps off. Let's stir this up. Oh, guys, the face mask is so thick. I'm like almost sure this will work. Now we're gonna need our Tide. This will act as our activator for the slime. And you can get Tide at your nearest Dollar Tree or CVS. We need to pour it a little bit at a time. Let's cross our fingers and hope this works. <laughs> guys, the slime is plumbing up already. This worked faster than I expected. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it smells so bad. <laughs> Gosh, you guys, I'm speechless. Did we just make two ingredient clear slime? Let's go in with our hands. It's a little bit sticky. I think I might need some more Tide. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is actually slime. It literally stretches. I'm gonna go all these ingredients from literally the dollar store with no glue. Let's keep kneading it together. <laughs> To collect the rest of the slime from the bowl and update you guys when i finish you guys i have no words i'm speechless just look at this this is probably the closest no glue slime recipe to actual slime because the slime reminds me of the ocean i'm gonna add in some dolphins and you can make this super easy slime recipe at your friend's house or whenever you're bored the slime literally uses household ingredients make sure to comment down below a name for the slime may the best name win now let's move on to our third recipe okay so our third recipe supposedly makes a thick slime using only two ingredients Okay, so we just crush a couple of glue sticks and then put them in the microwave. It kind of looks like marshmallow fluff. Then he adds some optional food coloring and activates the slime using borax, but we can just use Tide for that. And then bam, he got this really stretchy slime. Okay, I'm really excited to try this. That looks pretty legit, but will it actually work? Here are my two glue sticks, and we're basically gonna empty out the entire thing. So there's barely any glue left, but let's use our special knife to cut it all out. Oh, we just took the guts and brains out of our glue stick. Pray P, one like equals one prayer. Let's cut all the guts out. Now I have to try to get all that remaining excess glue from that cap. <laughs> I need to work out more. Now for glue stick number two. Okay, well, I guess I don't even have to cut it out. It just all came out. I got me not one, but three more glue sticks because this is not enough. Where's the glue in this one? Why are all my glue sticks breaking? Looks like I'll have to throw this one away. Ooh, Lala. I'm using a toothpick to get out all the excess. Ooh, there's a lot in this one. Yes, I like them long. Why is it like really satisfying to cut them? Now I'm gonna smash these all up. Why are they so stiff? This is gonna take a lot of muscle power. Yo, you wanna see some real speed? Much better. Yo, it's already kind of looking like slime and clumping up. I think this is smashed enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop it into the microwave. Here we are. I really hope this actually works. Let's pop it in here. Make sure to not microwave the spoon, guys. Let's put it in here for 20 seconds and start. Guys, I'm scared. Let's hope it doesn't explode or anything. Guys, what is going on? Oh my God, it's, it's inflating. I'm stopping this. 
Guys, what is going on in there? I swear it like inflated or something. Why is it oh steaming hot in here? Oh. Ow, it's hot. Why did it just turn purple? It was literally like white or lavender a second ago. Um, you guys, it just hardened. Why is it so stiff? I'm gonna touch it with my hands. Please pray for me. Um, it's really dry, but it doesn't feel like slime yet. It looks like a purple rat just threw up in here. And for our activator, we'll be using Tide. They use Borax, but this should basically work just the same. Let's pour it in slowly at a time. The glue is starting to clump up, so I think it's working. I'm gonna add a splash of water because this is really chunky. Guys, this is not going too well. Um, ciao. Anyway, so I just checked the comments on that video and it said that shaving cream might help soften it up. Let's shake this up and let's add our fluffy white cream. Hopefully this will help this disaster. I'm gonna add a bit more Tide. Wait a minute, you guys. I'm stirring and I think the shaving cream is helping. Look at it. A chunk of slime is forming. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm like actually shocked. Guys, it's actually forming a piece of slime. Oh my gosh. This looks like rat guts. Sprinkle in some more Tide. And now we just keep mixing and keep kneading. Much, much later. Okay, guys. I found a chunk of slime hidden in this mess. Like it's pretty holdable and you can squish it. But it looks like a glob of brains. Oh. Rest in peace, my hands. Okay, guys. So after 30 minutes of kneading, yes, 30 minutes. Here's what I was left with. Okay, so as you can see, the slime is very chunky. As much as I needed it in, the strings would not go away. This thing is probably like 50% slime. But how did it work so well in the video? I guess they probably put glue off camera. Oh, this looks like moldy mozzarella. Is this a real slime? No. So we'll give this a solid 3 out of 10. Now's the time you guys have all been waiting for. Let's go check up on our hand sanitizer slime. I waited 3 hours for this, so let's hope it doesn't disappoint me. Here we are at the freezer. Let's go open and see how it turned out. Phew, if there's nothing weird in here this time... Here's our slime, you guys. This looks pretty promising. Guys, the bowl is so cold right now. I'm gonna get frostbite. Oh, it's rock solid. Guys, it feels like a slushy. Let's take it out. Oh, uh, ow, guys, it's literally freezing and bubbles coming out of it, probably from the soap. I cannot believe this thing didn't work. This is not slime, just a bunch of freezing cold slush. My hands are all soapy. I was gonna decorate this thing with a bloody knife charm, but this failure doesn't even deserve this. <laughs> Trash. Trash. I'm gonna poke it with this thing. Well, I tried this so you guys didn't have to. Let's move on to our next recipe. Apparently, you can make fluffy slime without glue or activator. So let's try out these two recipes. The first recipe just needs toothpaste, lotion, and salt. I added the toothpaste first, along with the white cream, which is kind of like cucumbers. I sprinkled a ton of salt in a Okay, so I ended up mixing it for 25 Me. minutes, and although my bowl smelled nice, literally nothing happened. Big fat fail. Oh, I have high hopes for the second recipe. All this recipe needs is clay, shaving cream, and water. What you're gonna do is add the clay and then dissolve it in some warm water. Three should be good. And now keep mixing it in until your hand falls off. This got so messy. Now just add as much of that shaving cream as you can. I added way too much. Um, now mix. Although this part literally took forever, the result was so worth it. This was by far one of the most fluffiest slimes I've ever made. Well, now you guys know which no glue slime recipes are real or fake. The sexiest slime was definitely the face mask slime recipe. And if you guys enjoyed this video or found these recipes helpful, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Bye!